hear ye, hear you. You think for a moment I would have the thought process that it would take that I would even accept the fact that I would have the thought to set foot in something related to the Pope? Are you insane? Why would it? Are, are you out of your mind to believe for a moment that I would sit there and take my own teachings that say, call not anybody your father, your father is in heaven, and then embrace objects that were called, what do they call them? I've seen so many things of a fancy word that means it was related to These are objects. So was this. This was an object. When I married my wife, and she started talking and everything like that, I'm from this family, this is my... I just sat there the entire time praying, like, seriously? Holy Spirit's just laughing, like. <laughs> really? And Holy Spirit's just like. Oh. Put me in the perfect position to do what? Relay um, God's, would you just vengeance on them? Really, Lord? Like, yeah. It's a position you get put into. Like, I don't like them at all. Like, me and God hate them. We think so little of them that it's insane that my wife chose them over God. My wife has sit there and tried to fight her way out of it. I remember the funeral. And she's sitting there, well, God gave me this inheritance, so you guys can have this. I don't care about this. I don't care about that. And so, it's a watch. My wife thought it was a big deal. I didn't take the watch. I let him be buried with it and all this. It's a watch. But it's worth this much money than take it to a pawn shop. What can the money be used for? This is stupid. I sat there the entire time. Didn't your Pope just die? He's about to. The next one is. So I'm sitting there. What is your guys' problem? Didn't you pray to Mother Mary? Didn't you pray to St. Michael? Didn't you pray to... Didn't I tell you not to pray to any other God? How is this a feasible thought process you guys have? And I heard the arguments, Catholics have the real Bible. Uh, Septuagint, uh, Masoretic text, or uh, my favorite, which you seem to uh, love the most, Apocrypha. Both of you, all of you just sit down I'm not around that. I'm not a part of that. How I know that? Augustine, he was, he was a real, um, I'm just gonna stick with God type of person. Funny as it is, it's, 
I was born in August, so it made sense to me. Um, you know, war is what we're about. Like, people, I wish people could sit there and just be like, you know what, Lord, I'm going to fight for you. Christians are more like, I'm going on vacation, Lord. If you pay for it, everything's going to be great. The fuck is your problem? Seriously, if I had the real, uh, and I do have a vessel that will speak for me. Do you, do you see the expression on my face? What? Didn't you use my name? We love Jesus. I've seen lukewarm Christians sit there the entire time playing praise music and acting just like the world. But they sat there. I was praising and I was reading and I'm a good person. I don't care if you're a good person because truthfully, you're not. And you never will be. Without the Holy Spirit guiding you and teaching you how to be a good person, you are not. So all of your stupid arguments are, to me, when you come to me, I'm sitting there as the judge. And if I, if I reach the point that I, Mary is so uninformed of God's ways, I put you in Portland, it's to keep you away from the rest of the other 49 states. Like Mary looked at Christianity as this little box as this is what God is doing. And I looked at them. You see this box? See the box? You see it, right? It's a box. Then she came to her church. She showed up demonically possessed from her own church. I saw the testimony. Please let me study the book of Matthew or live it. Have you, have you ever... We're coming to save souls. In Portland? Uh, you realize where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And the spirit is not in Portland. So if you're in Portland, that means the spirit is not with you. So everything you're saying is regurgitated uh what could you teach me about the book of matthew further hezekiah uh <clears throat> second kings like what could you actually teach You're so smart, figure it out. What what can you teach from my life and what I've lived and what I wrote because I lived it? Back to Samuel uh, anointing David as king. I'm sure that you have some type of insight on, 
you know how God is doing things. I'm 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 uh preferred over uh <laughs> Yeah, I'm Jesus. So Well we didn't We wanted Jesus the way he is in the spirit. Fair. What happens after two years of Jesus being in the spirit and telling you and telling you and telling you and you still don't listen? What happens how only my people know they're if God wants something done, he starts prodding you. And then once he's reached his end of patience, he starts getting more and more. Um, his tone changes. If you don't know that, you're a product of this poison. Like my wife was. That called yourself the church. <laughs> 